Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today I want to talk about why it is so hard for people to break up with veganism. When I was vegan for around about three years, this is when I really reached the threshold. My health was wrecked. Absolutely ruined. Teeth were rotting out of my face, depression, anxiety, indigestion, low libido and whatnot. It was absolutely terrible. Still, I told myself, I can't just stop being vegan. I can't just stop. Maybe I did it wrong. I analyzed myself and I know many people nowadays like to say, you've been raw vegan, you've been fasting. And believe me guys, I told the same shit to myself. I analyzed what I did in the past. And yes, I was raw vegan for a while. And yes, I juice fasted for a while. And hence I told myself, what if I screwed my health with those practices? Maybe I should really investigate every single error that could be, every potential error and perfect it. Maximize every aspect of the vegan diet before I consider moving on to omnivory or carnivory. And so I did. I perfected every single aspect of the plant-based diet. Yes, I was eating the daily dozen. On a daily. And on top of that, I supplemented every possible micronutrient. DHA, EPA, B12 and vitamin D were covered. Iodine, calcium, magnesium and whatnot. Everything was accounted for and it still didn't work. I was eating sufficient calories, I was working out religiously, I was tracking my macros, micros, sleep, hydration, everything. It still didn't work and I still didn't quit. It took me further one and a half years before I decided finally to give in, before I finally was ready to hand in my vegan label, my vegan medallion, so to speak. As vegans, we see ourselves as heroes. It is the hero complex in that sense. Every vegan has it. You feel righteous. You feel like you are on the right side of history. You feel like you are doing truly the right thing and nobody else. Let's be honest here. If you really look into the statistics, vegans are not even 1% of the population. And therefore, it truly does not matter if you would eat meat or not. The animals are already dead in the supermarket, so to speak. You could just go there, buy kilos and kilos of meat and you would practically make no difference. So therefore, what are you latching on really? I just watched Drew Morgan's live stream and he offered to vegans to do a carnivore experiment for 30 days. But he wouldn't just let them do the carnivore experiment and sacrificing their ethics. He proposed a very, very intriguing idea. He said, on the other hand, we're going to have a carnivore that will go vegan for you. So therefore, the whole equation is neutral, right? The vegan goes carnivore, but the carnivore goes vegan for you. On a global scale, everything stays the same. No difference in terms of ethics. It would be an ethical experiment. Still, the vegan bailed. The vegan couldn't make himself try it out, even though there would be no ethical implication. That just shows you the vegan mindset, the vegan brainwashing, the vegan mental illness, that you cannot free yourself from that prison. And I do not blame the person, because one and a half years back, I would have done the same. 100% I couldn't let go of that attachment, of that label, of that arbitrary imaginary trophy that I was clinging on to. Every vegan does. As vegans, we have that hero's complex. As vegans, we truly believe we are the good guys and everybody else is evil. I know vegans don't want me to speak out about this and vegans want to say that I've never been vegan because they are scared of me shedding that perspective as an ex-ethical vegan. I know you say there is no such thing. The only reason why you say this is for me to shut up and to not speak out. 
I was vegan for the ethics first. Health reasons came second. The ethics were the most important part for me. And hence, when I say that back in the day, me and my other vegan friends truly believed that we are the good guys and the rest of the flesh eaters are the bad guys, I surely do not lie. This is the perception of the vegan. You feel righteous. You feel superior. Yes, you feel like everybody else is a caveman. I know it for a fact. I talked to thousands of vegans. We all had the same perspective. I was priding myself back in the day to be very, very open-minded. I came to the realization that you cannot be open-minded and a vegan. That is an oxymoron. How could you? If you wouldn't be ideologically attached to your belief systems, you could easily make an exception. You could easily eat your grandma's food or your mama's food. You could, but you can't because you're ideologically attached to the label, to that image of the good guy. You have that white vest. It is all an illusion. It is all bullshit. Vegans kill much more animals than carnivores. I already exposed all of you guys. If you haven't seen it, check out the Ask the Farmer series on my channel. And you will find out the truth. Many vegans already woke up to that realization, but still cannot let go. If you are an ethical vegan, you kill more animals than a local carnival. What is your excuse? Environmentally speaking, it is a much bigger issue than cowspiracy wants you to believe. We know that grass-fed beef is very, very beneficial for our environment, if done correctly. Health? Don't get me started. We all know that vegans are suffering the health consequences. It is a destructive, deficient, malnourishing diet. We all know that. So therefore, what is your excuse, vegans? You have none. You have that conditioned brainwashing that doesn't allow you to let go of your label. You want to feel better than everybody else. I understand because I've been there. And let me tell you, I'm not blaming every single vegan. I know that not all of you do it consciously. But on a subconscious level, there is a superiority complex, 100%. Otherwise, you would change your behavior if somebody presents you those facts. It is all out in the open. You can research it yourself. Just like back in the day, when you started researching veganism and you found out about all of those documentaries, those studies and whatnot, the vegan doctors, you found out about it by yourself. You had that perspective shift back in the day and you acted upon it. Now you're presented with new facts, with new data and your mind wants to shift, but you cannot allow it because of your dogma. All right, guys, and that's it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And as always, guys, much love and peace.